Hello and welcome to the Advanced Age Role Playing Gamers Podcast. I'm Nathan, I'm your host, and this is another Silver Alert from Gen Con 2024. That's our, our that's our terrible tagline there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Are you having a senior moment right now, sir? I am. I, to, <laughs> so you need a chance to sit down. It's I do. Uh, day on the feet. We are, we're a little punchy because this, it's, it's a long day, it's very hot, and there's so many people here at Gen Con. How, how's your Gen Con go? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I need to back up a I bit. should introduce myself. <laughs> should I introduce, this is Austin. This is Austin. He, Austin is our, has the uh, notoriety to be our first uh, con interview ever, at, at, and that was at PAX Unplugged a few years ago. Um, so it's nice to, to, to catch up again. How are you doing? Yeah, it's awesome. good to see you again. Um, this is fan- this, so far, this is, is going to be a very fantastic Gen Con. Uh, they are sold out this year. We're very pleased about that. The halls in the expo in the expo is cramped. You can't, uh, well, no, you'd rather want to be here, though. You'd yeah. rather want to be here than not be here. It's a lot of good deals in, in the hall. A lot of people rolling around here. So Austin is with Strange Machine Games, and uh, Austin created this great uh, uh, board game called Robotech Reconstruction. Uh, so uh, we, we talked about this a few years ago, but but I've had a, a lot more experience interviewing people now, so <laughs> uh, I want to take another stab at it. Um, so Robotech Reconstruction, how did you, this, the Robotech IP has been passed around uh, a lot over the years. So how did uh, SMG get a hold of it? Well, SMG has been working with, has, was able to get the license through Harmony Gold. Um, and, you know, the fun bit here is how, um, while putting together this game, while putting together Reconstruction was also the time period where uh, Namco, Bandai, and Harmony Gold went through their contract dispute. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and that and everything came out a okay, which meant that we were able to continue, which meant that we were able to publish the game, because <laughs> you know license holders license you know you you need the license holder to have the license holder in order to actually produce these things. Yeah. So so we we're happy all of that that that, that went through on the upper end. Um, so yeah so how, yeah. So how'd you start uh, designing this game, and what was your kind of the, your goal for this game? So this is fun. So when you're so as a board game designer, right? Um, one of the hardest things to do is get your game play tested. So, and that also goes for publishers as well. So I was going to a publisher meetup to just play test games. And, um, and, along, and also the, the owners of Strange Machine Games would go to these play tests, you know, the, these meetups. And at one point, you know, he'd been showing some other, they have a, a bunch of other games in the, in the Robotech line. And they're like, after going there for a couple of months, they're like, so have you ever seen Robotech? Have you seen Robotech? And I'm like, no, I never had, because I was just a little bit too young to have that on the air. I know. For me, it was like Sailor Moon and Voltron was on, but Robotech wasn't. So I just kind of missed it. We saw Robotech. You saw Robotech. (laughs) I miss it. However, when he's like, hey, have you seen it? I'm like, no, but I like anime, so I should see it. And at that point, it was playing on Netflix. So I sit down, I watch the show. I come back to him like in the next meetup and I'm like, okay, I got two game ideas. I explained the first one and he goes, no, 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 that's the attack on the SDF one. We already have that game. So then I started to explain Robotech reconstruction and he goes, and and the owners go, oh, we don't have anything in the reconstruction era. So run with it, put something together and let's see what you got. (laughs) So this was, this game came out of a show first focus of like, you look at, you watch the show and you go, oh, that would make a great game. And then you start building it from there, especially if, once you know somebody who has the license, that, that helps out a lot. Uh, uh, tremendously, of course. So yeah. uh, so what, what, do, what do the players do? How do you play the game? Just right, so. so let's get into it. So Robotech Reconstruction is a three to four player strategy game that takes about two hours to play. Uh, the game takes place two years after the end of the first uh, Robotech War where you have four different factions vying for the control and to, uh, trying to shape the future of Earth. You know, you have your, you have your RDF, your REF, you have the Zentr- Chiron and the Zentradi Rebellion, and you have Minmay as the face of the Anti-Unification League trying to, get, uh, <laughs> try, trying to get independence out from under the boot of the RDF. Um, and yeah, players are going to take control of one of those four factions drive towards their victory and drive towards their victory. 
So a little bit more about the game itself, right? The base of the game is an area control game. And the heart of the game is an action of card deck, an action deck of cards. The, the trick thing here, the trick of the game is that like the RDF and the REF, their units actually share, for, actually work together for control of the territory. And so what this means is that inside of this game, you have a full on enemy who's like directly opposed to your goals, but then you also have this half ally and this half enemy as well floating around the board. And if you work too closely with your half ally, you might actually end up giving them the win because it's still just individual, you know, each, in, each faction is trying to make their own victory. Starting to fall. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good uh, primer for it. So um, your, your target, uh, uh, I, I didn't say, I said I wasn't gonna say this, but the, so, the target gamer, yeah. Who, target gamer, right. So if, if you're, so the way that we design this is that if you're familiar with, the, with Robotech, you're gonna feel at home here. If you have no idea what Robotech is, the game still works because your goals and missions are very clear. If you're a fan of games like Root or other heavier games like uh, Cuba Libre or Fire in the Lake, you're gonna, you're gonna feel right at home here too. And if you like games where you like to sit around a table and talk smack with your friends, this is also a good game for that too. Uh, because there's a lot of table talk. There's a lot of, I'll, I'll do this if you do that sort of thing. And uh, also some, you know, you could get in some underhanded play, though. It's more like, it's not I stab you in the back play. It's more like, why are you working with my enemy now play? <laughs> and it's like, well, because you're winning and we have to make sure we stop you <laughs> so, from so, doing that. So make sure your relationships are in order and, and everybody's <laughs> getting along well. I mean, the game also, thankfully, the game also works if your head's down, too. If, if you have a group that, that doesn't talk so much, the game still functions. It's just if you are a, a table that likes to talk to each other, the game will gladly accommodate uh, your experience. That's beautiful. So you're doing a, a tournament here. Right, which is why I have the belt. So this year at Gen Con, we are having the first Robotech, the first Robotech Reconstruction Tournament. We have a championship belt. We're not giving away the belt. However, if some, if the, whoever wins the belt, we have a trophy that they get to walk home with. But if they win the belt, then they become the belt holder and will be able to come in and defend the belt at the next tournament that we have. <laughs> Which at this point is going to be at uh, PAX Unplugged will be the, the next tournament. We hope to be there too. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> so, so uh how, how's the tournament going so far? Are you getting a little... Uh... So here's the thing. So the tournament's on Sunday. It hasn't happened yet. It all happens on one day on Sunday, 10 a.m. at Gen Con. Be there. I will. All right, well, Austin, it's, it's terrific to see you again. Uh, glad we were able to make this work. I was like uh, scrambling out trying to like, organize all these interviews, but it's, it's great to see you again. Uh, and I hope you have the rest of Gen Con is great. Um, any final thank words? you. No, uh, thank you for stopping by again. It's great to see you. Stay hydrated. It's kind of it's a long one. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a great Gen Con, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and, and check out Robotech uh, Reconstruction. There we go. Thanks, guys.